There you go. One, two, there should be five little chickens. Look at how precious. One, two, three, four, five. You see that little, um, the, the yellow fluffy smallest one? I think that's the Cochin. Look at how cute. And Mama Hen is already teaching her, her babies how to find food. In a couple of days, I'll probably let them out. So Mama can show her around the yard. I was gonna take the tote out, but I think I'm not because I'm not gonna take it out so they can have like a little um place where they can cuddle up in. Mama Hen is doing really good. And the babies. Look at that one day old. They're already eating bugs and whatnot, worms. everyone aloha this is Cheryl here and this morning my my uh, mom is um, gonna go to an appointment and she asked me if I had any veggies in the garden and hello of course I have veggies so she wants to give some to her friend so this morning I went out in my garden on this beautiful sunny day Hearing the birds chirping, <coughs> roosters crowing. But anyway, so I have all my veggies here in the bowl, and then I'm just gonna um show you and tell you, show and tell <coughs> what I have. So right here is the guy choy mustard cabbage, which is very good for soups or you know when you make like ramen you just chop this up and drop it in you don't even have to cook it because <laughs> the, the heat from the soup will cook it for you and then you get the, the fresh taste of the mustard which is not even that uh, strong it's very mild that's why I love the gai choy and then this is another type of mustard cabbage the beautiful purple leaf cabbage <laughs> and then I have some arugula and another thing about arugula is you don't need that much because arugula the flavor is so intense that you put a couple leaves in a salad and somebody that does not like arugula will know that there's arugula in the salad that's how intense the flavor is right here I got some lacinado kale and not too much but um, the cabbage moths or the worms has been chewing on the leaves but there's a few holes but nothing wrong about that here is my favorite kale to grow, which is the Premier Kale. Beautiful leaves. I got more right here. And of course, the lettuce that I can't stop talking about and showing is the beautiful speckled romaine lettuce. You can see how the head is this uh 
speckled romaine lettuce is not um how should i explain it's it's like a soft leaf you know how the regular romaine lettuce is really um firm and crunchy this one is not like the regular romaine it's kind of like a a loose leaf lettuce if you know what i mean like the texture but it's it's wonderful for sandwiches or just tossing in with a regular salad and then here i got some some bok choy but obviously you can see it went to seed i mean flour but again you can use this in stir fries you can chop it up and throw it in soups which is awesome <coughs> And then I picked a few carrots. Just this, these ones that I believe is the Danvers half uh, carrot. You can see they're not too long, but perfect, perfect for <coughs> munching on or just chopping them up, throwing it in a salad again, and then. This, look at the beet. This is the Detroit red beet. And then I believe this one is, I'm not sure. It's either the, I don't think it's Ruby Queen, but uh, shoots, I forgot. But anyway, look at how beautiful it is. Beets grow really really well in soft loose soil like really really fluffy i i've ex um by experience i noticed that i work the soil you know make it nice and fluffy add maybe um some compost in it make sure the soil is loose and your beet should do fine and then last is some garlic chives she she probably could just chop this up in an omelet or throw it in a salad so here is my morning harvest for my mom's friend and i'm sure she'll be happy anyway i'll see you later aloha